Hello, this is Keith Bjorklund with Bjorklund Readworks. Uh, today we're going to go through some basics of the Ross Gouger and adjustments and just general use uh, for gouging obocaine. So uh, to start off, let's look at some of the supplies that we need and is useful to know. We need, this is just mineral oil. We have, uh, this is Tri-Flow Multipurpose Pinpoint Lubricant. This is just a general, yeah, like it says, multipurpose. It doesn't have to be this one. I have uh, liked using this because it's nice and small, which is awesome. Uh, we have some Allen keys and hex keys, which we'll talk about specifics of right here. These are the main ones we're using. I thought this would be useful to go over too. Um, there is the main blade up here, right here. Right, uh, that's our adjuster, um, and I at one point had one of these that was kind of stripped, so I had to do some kind of research around hardware stores and stuff, and figured out that these are number four, they're called socket cap screws, and it's uh, 40 by three quarter inch. So uh, I hope that's useful because that was kind of a pain in the butt to figure that out. Okay, so if we're talking about main adjustments, uh, this thing is pretty intuitive in figuring out how uh, to adjust the blade, say that it's um, gouging too thin or too thick, but I wanna at least show you uh, what you need to do to adjust it. Uh, so first off, this is what determines the height of this carriage in, in relation to the bed here. So this doesn't affect the um, how much of the blade is exposed. I would say this is the first place to adjust if um, say that it is too thin. Um, if you uh, adjust this, then you could get it the carriage further off of the bed and then it wouldn't be taking off as much wood. If we loosen this and then we twist it just very, very small amounts one way or the other, it will raise or lower the bed. Okay, so we have that. Um, let's talk more about the blade specifically. So the blade is just in here. It's just a simple, simple blade that is held down by this, and then this is our adjustment uh, screw. If you notice that you're having to put a lot of elbow grease into it and it's not really giving you, um, taking off enough cane. What you're gonna wanna do is, um, we're, we gotta loosen this, uh, the blade itself and get it to go down uh, into the bed more. Um, and what, so what you're gonna wanna do, if you notice we have these two holes here and then if we go over to this side, we have two over here. And so there are little hex um, hex screws in there that are basically pinning the blade in from the side. So it's pinching it from this side and this side and holding it left and right. There isn't a whole lot of room that it can go, but that's what it's doing. It's going holding it from left to right. So if those are pinching it too much, then it's uh, not gonna be able to move. Um, so you can take, what we have here is the uh, number two Allen key, and that's the proper size. That's the number two Allen key. Yep, yep, yep. So that's what we would do. We'd loosen these, and you just, enough to where they're not holding it down. It doesn't have to be super loose. Just loosen the tension on those. That's a number two Allen key. Uh, I'm just, I was just doing some research because there is hex keys and there's Allen keys. Allen keys are the numbers, like two, two and a half, three, four. Hex keys are more of the, um, like screw sizes, three thirty seconds, one sixteenth, that sort of thing. Anywho, so we need to loosen those. Once those are a little bit loose, then what we'll do is we'll loosen this big guy right in here, and that is what is pinching the blade against the carriage. So just enough to move that. Um, what you need to know about this adjustment screw here is that this can only, when you screw it to the right, so you're you're effectively tightening it. What that's doing is it's pushing against this screw so it's making the blade uh, come out so toward you okay so all you can do is make minor adjustments of bringing the blade back toward you um, so if you go too far and it's gouging way too thick 
then um, you need to loosen this to the left counterclockwise um, and start it again where you're just bringing it back little by little by screwing the adjustment screw clockwise. I, that's kind of, it took me a little while to grasp what that was, but this can only bring the blade back. So if you notice, if I go to the left, it doesn't really matter because it's loose. It's loose in there right now. Um, I wouldn't say that it should be loose, but this is tight. So once this is loose and then I'm, or a little bit loose, right? We don't want the blade to just flop, flop around. Um, but once, once it's not pinning it tightly, then I can bring this clockwise and it brings the blade up. So if it's gouging too thin, then that's when you'd want to go clockwise and bring that blade up when this is a little bit loosened. And then uh, if it's too thick, then you're just going to want to loosen this and loosen this counterclockwise, bring the blade back down to where it's gouging too thin, and then you're bringing it up little by little until it's right where you want it to be. Okay, so um, I will also leave in the notes, this is the same size as this one. So this main blade adjuster is the same size as the wheel adjuster here. Um, I will, I'll put that in the notes. The adjuster here that we use counterclockwise or clockwise is the 332nd hex key, 332 seconds. So I went and got a nice long one like this because then I can really feel the torque of if when I adjust it just a little bit uh, so I don't go too far with a short, a short one. So this has been really nice, 332 seconds for this guy. You're basically just uh, gradually bringing the blade up enough until it's right where you want it to be. The main way to make that adjustment is just to, to gouge. My North Texas Oba professor always suggested having kind of some crap cane that you can soak up and gouge. Um, and then you can, then it doesn't matter if you're gouging it too thin or too uh, heavy, whatever, um, because you're just wor worrying about the gouger itself. So you'll adjust it, you'll say, okay, it's a little too thin, so I'll loosen this, uh, go just slightly clockwise, um, I'll, and these guys will also be slightly loosened, so I'll, and then once I've made that adjustment, tighten, 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 back over here, tighten, tighten, and then try another piece of cane, use your micrometer, hey, it's still too thin, you know, yada, yada, you figure it out. Um, that's the basics of the adjustment. I want to just go over the last couple things about just proper care of this. Every time I gouge, I use this uh, multi-purpose lubricant and just give a drop or two on each side like that and then I just work it in. This one hasn't been used in a while so it is in need of this. So I'd probably use a little bit more but you just want it to be going freely across the carriage here. Uh, and then if you notice, I have this cane, or the cane, the cotton, cotton swab here so that the blade, the blade is right here. I don't want that resting against metal here. So we have a cotton swab, and then that's what you use the mineral oil, right? So I just have this thing, I'd put like a drop there. And how you can tell you have enough, you don't want a ton of it, but you do this, you push down. Um, I don't know if I can do it one-handed here. But you'll push down into the cotton and you'll see a little bead of the mineral oil come up and that's plenty. You're just protecting it from rust. Before you do end up using it here, you don't want a bunch of excess oil. So you can just take a paper towel and go across the bed and go across the blade here. So um, when I'm ready to gouge, I'll have just lubricated the rod here and then uh, wiped off the excess mineral oil put in my cane, and then I'm ready to go. One one little uh, last trick I wanted to talk about, the one sort of disadvantage of the Ross gouger is that when you're gouging, you're going like this the whole time. And so if you're gouging for a while, you're putting a lot of pressure on this edge, on your thumb, and you get a nice little crease and a callus. So one little uh, life hack, read hack alert, hashtag, is uh, you can use, this is like a male, um, thingy-majig that lets you leaf through paper. Um, so I've used this for a while. Um, and then if you have a great, uh, if you have a mother-in-law who sews a lot like I do, she made these, um, I, I couldn't find it also, but basically looks like this, but it's made out of leather and it has a leather pad on the thumb 
Ooh, baby, that's sweet. So it's pretty awesome to have that on there and then the pressure isn't um, digging into your skin as much. You have some cushion. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, leave some comments. But that is the basics of operating and maintaining a Ross gouger.